Hello, say, how are you? Hey, teacher, how are you? I'm doing good, and you? I uh, couldn't be better. A little tired, but thanks God that I came back to my home with my wife and my daughter. That's important, right? Yes. The happening is that I travel. I was driving from here to Sonsonate and then I came back. So imagine I was driving like uh, four hours. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot and was in the truck to deliver a motor. Uh, okay. That's why. So it's a little hard and I was driving a note. It's not the same with when I drive with somebody else, right? Yes. So something like that. Mm hmm When you drive with someone else, it's it's easy because you have someone to talk to, it's easier to do the things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true that. And alone is like I want to sleep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the weather today was raining for a few moments and Definitely, is not a good time to drive in when it's raining, but anyway, I have to do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. And you, Helio, how was your day? Oh, yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, it's very, very excited because I've been practicing my lessons. I read about myself, though. That's excellent, Helio. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of excited. Kind of excited, you know, because really something new every day, every day. So this is making me more enthusiastic. To excellent. Go. Thank you. Sir. And how do you practice uh, every day, Helio? Well, I, I, read, I read books and I listen cassettes, uh, something in English. So it's what I, what I do. Uh, but I would, rather, I would rather read, yes, English. It's, it's, where, it's where, where I get my vocabulary. But reading is excellent to improve your vocabulary. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. All right. Yes. Nice. Jacqueline, how about you? How was your day? Hello. Good evening. It was Hello. great. It was great. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. What did you do today, Jacqueline? And I do my my daily routine and at at in the morning. I, I attended my classes and I did the same today afternoon, but today I don't have my regular class at the university. So I, I could have took a nap, a little nap, and I took my dinner at 7 p.m. and I'm here. Okay, good, good. Remember, I had my dinner, I had my dinner at 7 p.m. I had my dinner, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, guys, I'm glad that all of you are here and that we are going to practice a little bit about the topic between the past, the simple past, and the past continuous. We use it many times in our conversation. It's natural. How was your day? What did you do? It's natural to use it. But many times we forget the difference and when to use one or when to use the other. We're going to start by watching the video and remembering the difference between the two, okay? Before we go, do you have, do you remember a little bit how to use the past or the past continuous? Do you remember how is the structure or what we use? Subject, uh, auxiliary have or has, and then the verb and the participle and, and 
in its participle structure. With have or Jackie, you say with have or has. Yes, a have or a subject have or has, and then the verb and then the verb in its uh, participle form. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Do you remember the past continuous? Past continuous, I think that is the, the, the auxiliary in the past and the verb using A and G, right? Okay. That's the idea. We're going to remember. We're, the idea first is only to see what you remember. Here, let's watch the video to help us remember. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. We got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we're trying to express that whole idea that there was. Okay. So the guy speaks pretty slow. So let's get to it. Here, we're looking at when, how we use both of them together. Well, both of them together is always the first action is going to be the past continuous. The second action is going to be the verb in the simple past. Now, how can we have it? It's kind of like the image that is here. Okay. In the simple past. Go a little bit more. Okay. So here they are enjoying the morning. He's enjoying the newspaper. She's enjoying her Sunday the different things, but what happens next? Ah, the next is the simple past. Then the thief stole the briefcase. That is the difference when we use both of them. When we talk about two actions in the past, the first action is with ing, the verb to be and ing. The second action is the verb in the simple past. It's like the examples that are here. The first thing, he was escaping. Uh, Jake was running towards the ball. The secretary was making a speech. These are the sentences, but these are the first action. The second action is this one. Ah, the robber got caught or he tripped and kicked. That's the idea for the simple past and past continuous together. Is that okay? Yes. Do you understand? All of these yes, verbs, teacher. tripped, revolving door. Okay. All right. So now let's look here. Here we're going to see when we use one or when we use the other to complete all of this information. Uh, simple pass form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverse, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form, but let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they 
And here we should use this verb. Okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive function. Let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, that'll be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover shipwrecked containing gold worth two million dollars okay so that makes sense for the first one there now let's look at the next one the divers uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there so what do you guys now that you have the first example what do you think is the next one the divers were filming or the divers filmed a show about the, a simple the diver well simple. filming we're filming okay <laughs> it's, 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 it's to me that i that it is a past tense uh, simple past tense so for you helio what do you think it's a, a, a it's a simple past tense so the divers the diver film, film, film a show about the coral reef okay all right well, let's take a look here okay. what about the second part when they when they found uh, or they were finding gold they found. i think it's in the past when they, when they because found. it's because the 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 it's word past. went precede when you when you use simple pass okay well let's see here we go ah the divers were filming because this is the first action first they film and then let's find out what happened oh let me go back a little bit and then they found the gold okay so teacher always going to be a first uh the simple the verb to be uh in the past and when uh there plus ing and then the simple part. Not necessary in that order, but yes, always the verb is going to be. Uh, it could be the simple past first. Yes, sometimes it can be the simple past because the the grammar indicates that the ing is first, not the order. All right. So, for example, I can say I found money while I was walking in the park. First, I walk in the park. Then I found the money. Is not, is not the order. Is the grammar that indicates the order? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And then let's see the next part that they have. A few, a small exercise for us. Okay. So what I'd like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to do this using the past continuous and the simple past form. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We're going to do the action that was in progress and what. Let's do it together. Let's see how we are. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'll send it to the group. That way we can do it with our partners. Give me a second. You can start thinking about which one do you think is the right order? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Hosanna. Uh, good evening. Good <laughs> How evening. Are you? Yes. Good, I good. thank you, Andrew. Well, well, great. 
Okay, so now it's in the WhatsApp group that you can take a look. And with your partner, if you are on the computer, that was exercise 4.3. At the end of the video of 4.3, we have many of the things that we have. So we're going to do two things. One, we're going to do 4.3 where we practice. And then we're going to do 4.4 where we're using those tenses again, okay? So 4.3, first we practice those. And then, thank you, Elena. I like your picture even better. And then 4.4, okay? The 4.4 is here. You have to use the past continuous and the simple past, right? You read it and you complete depending what situation you think is correct. So we have two activities with our partner. First, the picture and then 4.4. Is it okay or any questions? No. No? Okay, just to help you remember, remember the first action, not in the order, not the order, but the first action is the one with ING. The second, sorry, the first, yes, the first action is with ING. The second action, the action it interrupts is with the simple past. So what a... Okay, let's try with our partners. We can do it. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories, we will listen to an
Okay, sorry about that. Just saving it up, uh, uploading the videos. Okay, here's the, the next part, one more time. World news. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in Okay, so how did we do with the partners? Yes. Yes, let's start off. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. While divers and driver were working. We're okay. working. Good. While divers were working off the yes. coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Yes. They discovered it. Okay, good pronunciation. Discovered. 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 Good. With okay. D. Yes. Discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth two million. The divers yes. were filming. Okay. Were filming a show about the coral reefs when they found gold. Let's see this part, the first part. Yes. Ah, excellent, excellent. <laughs> the first part, correct. The first part is correct, good. Now let's yes. go to the next one. As a woman. Was walking. Okay, as a woman was walking. Yes. With her, with her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist. Notice it, notice it or notice it. The pronunciation noticed. Noted. noticed. Okay, noted. Noticed. Noticed. That's it for ENG. Notice. No. With D. Noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Yes. Later, while he is was creating. creating. Was creating. 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 Good, the pronunciation uh, was creating, was was creating. creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. He, he came, came, up, came up with, with a new slogan, living came. animals had bad hair days. Good, came up yes. with, very good, excellent. And those are the next ones, okay. So what is the most important thing to remember? The most important thing to remember is that always the first action is was or were an ing, is always the verb with ing. That is the first action. Any questions? No. No, teacher, it's clear. Okay. No question, Perfect. crystal clear. Okay, now it's time for us to work on our listening skills. Well, not here we go. On our listening skills, we're going to listen to a new stories and we want to be able to make sure we identify with what is happening, where does it take place? Okay, so here we have several stories and we're going to answer many questions. Uh, there are three stories. First, where and what is the main idea? Where and what? So where did the story happen? That means in what country? And what is the story? What is the news? It's OK? OK. Yeah. OK. Yes, teacher. All right, let's listen. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details. Develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. 
your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Ooh, a little fast, right? A lot of information? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, one more time. Yes, please. please. Yeah, try please. Try on this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very important that everybody has the microphone or is quiet in the listening that way not affect the other people okay so let's listen one more time and this time i'm going to show you the questions while we are listening listening for details develop note-taking skills listen to news stories we will listen to an audio program with different news stories your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship. Helio, Helio, always the microphone. He's on now. He's on. Helio, I'm mm, on mute. the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river the local police department dropped all charges against okay guys let's try one more time remember keep the microphone on mute because if not you in, you interfere or affect the other people okay here we and a half meter snake in a town in thailand it seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads the man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, 
swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, now yes, now you can open your microphone. All right, guys, what's number one? Where did the first story happen? In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand. Okay, in Thailand. And, in Thailand. And, and what happened? And what happened? Um, a man was almost dead by, to a death by a snake. The first, the first one, okay. All the right. first one. Good, everyone agrees. Everyone understood. Excellent. What happened in the second story? Where? In Australia. In Australia. Okay. And what happened in the story? Two uh, Okay. Okay. And the third story, what happened in the third story? In Hollywood, California. In Hollywood, California. And what happened? Two police officers were rescued by the police. They were catching. Good. Remember the pronunciation is thief. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect score, guys. Yes. Any questions about any of those? No. No, teacher. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Okay, perfect. Now, what we're going to do is now you're going to pretend you're going to imagine that you are a news reporter and you are creating the news. So you will have to think with your partner. You, you are going to think of one news story. Your partner is going to think of another news story and you're going to give the news. So, for example, in El Tunco Beach, there was a storm. There were children uh, playing in the beach when a big a thunderstorm came and took the children to the ocean, whatever. Or in a taco, uh, there was a celebration in a taco and, and what you invent, whatever story you want. You're going to create a new story, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you and your partners to practice because you have to be creative. You have to think about what you're going to say, where it's going to be, and then you need to practice with me. So first I take a moment and you have the idea with your partner. Then you practice with your partner, then your partner practice, and then we practice together, okay? Okay. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. 
So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friend had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occurred in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last weekend. So that is that X, if you will, all right? But when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in a different color. Um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party. And when I got there, there was food at the party. And then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see, the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker and therefore this is what took place right as we'll analyze the examples that are there I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker all right wait let, let's stop there for a second I was working out is the past event that's that X if you will what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker so th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event so it's that little blue circle that you see there when I came back that's that event there that's the uh, past event okay someone had stolen my wallet so um, I came back but before this event someone had stolen my wallet all right they were able to steal it that's the past event so that's that x if you will because i had forgotten to lock the locker all right now that is the past perfect event as you can see there let me just give one last example here i didn't have any money because i had forgotten my wallet So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, a, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color. Just a second. All right. And um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home. And that's the reason why I didn't have any money, right? So as you can see, both events are um, are related. Okay, are you ready? Uh, no, short time. So, so. <laughs> I only, I only, uh -huh. Yes, short time. 
a short time. I I I need you time. Okay, more time, more time. More time, yes. Uh -huh. All the time, need time. Erwin, what do you think? Erwin, Erwin are you, are you ready, Erwin? No, no. Like, story, only, Erwin. like only a Erwin, time. Elio, Elio, his story Elio. is fantastic. Yes. Yes. Hey, okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank Elio. you. I appreciate it. All right. Good story, Elio. Yeah, you know, I was I was telling Roxana about the tradition that that is ran I know in Hapa every every September the first every year Hapa has a tradition of throwing fighting balls over over the floor over the over the the people everywhere. Now this is kind of dangerous, but they 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 say it is kind of excited, but uh, for uh, for me, I think it's a danger because it might take fire, uh, any fire in any house, any car, or someone may come uh, injured because they're throwing walls. No, because those those are real real fighting walls, but uh, but they yeah, yeah they just pitch them wherever wherever they want to throw it. So, but I never been there. I never been there. I just I just have watched in the news where how they how they celebrate it, which is said is is a tradition. But uh, this time they they disobey the law because the pandemic situation we we are on. They they dis they disobey the the law. Because it was forbidden this time to celebrate it, but uh, people came out and do the same way that they had done before. So the the metropolitan police came came in the putting off all the balls and chasing the people uh, lest they, they get to keep the law in order. To uh, have uh, with a real excited, they listen to me. Okay, this is what I can see the this story this time. Okay, Henry, thank you, thank you. It's yeah, good, it's good about the Nehapa balls. Thank you. The Nehapa fireballs, right? Say, so, yeah, I yeah, can say. Yeah, and this I, was, was I, I, I never been this uh, Tell me when when is this festival, Helio? When, when, when is this festival, Helio? It takes place in the September of every year. So yesterday, it was yeah. yesterday. So yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All, right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, who's next? Who else right. can tell us a new story and something that happened? A new story and something happened. Okay, Monica. Okay. A uh, mysterious house on the beach. Uh, in the in the beach La Puntilla, uh, time the time ago was abandoned for the uh, people who live in there, and the ocean claims it from the waves a uh, little by little, and has made it new destination to the visit for the all the Salvadorians today and your visit uh, and your next visit from the La Puntilla for the new people, the Salvador. <laughs> Monica, where is La Puntilla? La Puntilla, um, I think is in near from La Costa del Sol. Uh, okay, okay. It is the Puntilla, 
is the the last of the La Costa it's del a, Sol. It's I, in Huachapan, isn't it? No. It's in Huachapan, no? No, this I, La Paz, no? this La Paz, Zacatecoluc, La Herradura, San Luis La Herradura. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, really? Not, not oh, is in the La Costa del Sol. Yes, La Costa del Sol. Yes, La Costa del Sol. Okay, that is all, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Monica. All right, who else? Who else has a story that they saw in the news or a story that they created? Call me, teacher. All right, Roxana. <laughs> okay, I I am here. Uh, I am Roxana. I am here in Michel Chuapa and six and six hours ago. <clears throat> Many people was eating yuca con chicharrón and an earthquake uh, interrupts them. And uh, the, the earthquake is, was uh, seven degree and, and all people uh, was, were afraid about, about it. And they and they couldn't couldn't finish their their meal because they was afraid. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I'm it's not a, a, a good reporter. <laughs> or <laughs> okay, no problem. I like to use the structure, but I don't know. It's difficult. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. You try. It's okay. That's important. That's important. Very good job, Roxana. Very good. Thanks. Okay. All right. Who else? Who else? Leticia, you ready? Uh, I'm ready, Edwin, teacher. Edwin and Leticia, uh, are you ready? Leticia. <laughs> Thank you, Oli. Next, you. <laughs> no, I, I not, not I. <laughs> <laughs> the news from the uh, street of Santa Tecla uh, with the rain, the, uh, the street are collapsed because uh, people are full uh, of garbage. garbage. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it, is, it is a be better to remove uh, the kayak to transit. Okay. When when did this happen? Uh, uh, for the um, with the rains, the street a collapse. Today. Today and uh, and yesterday, tomorrow <laughs> is equal <laughs> for the rains. Always, always, right? Always. <laughs> okay. Good. Oli, you ready? Next, Edwin. Next, Edwin. Next, Edwin. Edwin. Next, Oli. I say Oli, <laughs> Oli. No, I, I sp I'm speaking I always this okay. class. <laughs> I, I only always the, yes your, your no. husband speaking your husband speaking always this class mm -hmm. that's true no. that's true no I no 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 next no. Edwin go ahead Oli oh. no no I, yes Oli not... yes Oli go go and Oli go you can do it, Oli. You can do it, Oli. You can do it, Oli. Maybe the first husband is not in the house. Husband no is staying home. Always, always is speaking Conti in class. Act go, Oli. Go. Participate. Yeah, participate, Oli. No, yes, yes, but this is the time. Let's go, let's go, Oli. <laughs> Tell the story. 
I, I know I, my, my story. Only the okay, my story. Okay, my story is, my name is Oli. About um, people. I'm 48 years old. Is, um, I love it. Um, uh, uh, La Mont Montan. Yes. I love it. I love it. It's a taco. Only it's not about you. It's a news story. A news. Me new story. I, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, news like like Cuatro Vision, like the television, like like the example. The CNN. The CNN. <laughs> and I know a story. Uh -huh. I know a story. I know a story. Uh -huh. Okay. I knew stories um, in Ataco. En eh, laberinto de laberinto de Albania. Albania. No, no husband only. No husband. <laughs> no husband. Es, I see, it's, it's my son. It's my son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it's my, no, no, no. It's my, um, I know, I know story. Oh, next. Mm -hmm. Yes, next. <laughs> you see, Oli, your husband participate, no, you. You need to participate. <laughs> no, participate. My husband, my husband is, I let, I, I, I see I, uh, football. Mm -hmm. Football. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right, try with Edwin. Edwin, all right, Edwin. Yes, Edwin. Yes, Edwin. Ah, no participant. Yes. What happened, Edwin? Edwin has yeah. great news. Edwin, share with us. Your news is very good. Your news is very good. Edwin participate. Edwin is, is asleep. Edwin fell asleep. Edwin. Yes. Jose, maybe, Jose maybe, 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 Jose. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, Jose. Jose, let's try your story. Jose, Jose, let's try your story. Oh, Edwin sharing in the WhatsApp group is is training. In Edwin, uh, yes. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, yes, yes, Jose I see. have a, I... Bad, a bad connection with internet. Yes, I saw uh, in this moment. Uh, that's right. And it's when that's right. it's raining in, in, here, in his house, we can hear him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. I shared okay. the I shared the the history, the Edwin. I I do you remember? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, Elena. Okay, Elena, share the story. It, this is the story of Edwin, okay. In the El Tunco beach, I saw a man surfing and there where I came a wave and he had an accident, but the man, it's okay because the friend helped him. Oh, it's a good story. That's a good yes. story. That's a good story. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Because I, uh, I animate to, to Edwin participate because it's a great story. It's a, a good one. Excellent. Excellent. And Elena, what about your story? What is your story? Uh, it's a very funny end, but it's okay. But it's yesterday in El Salvador, it started the Independence Month. The country celebrate 200th anniversary of independence and start the promo for Mr. Donuts, two for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's funny. A little, yes. a little joke. <laughs> yes, it's good. It's true. Salvadorians, they are waiting. Ay, it's September. Uy, two for one, two for one, Mr. Donuts. Teacher. Yes, Leticia. Teacher. Can I go back to a sport? Oli. Oli. How go, how we go with the game? 
¿Y qué eh, is, uh, operation you have <laughs> Next, next. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Only ask your husband. Yeah. Uh, no, what is no. the score for no, the no. play? <laughs> uh, for the soccer teacher, game. Question, you must know. No, no me defiende el teacher, qué barbaridad. I don't know, I don't know the soccer. I don't know the soccer. Why? Why participate always uh -huh. in class? He doesn't understand Spanish. Yes, no. yeah. But <laughs> really, no. your husband Let's keep juggling, Let's keep know, juggling the opportunity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which um, I can try. A penalty Vaya, for Orly because uh, she's not. No, it's so it's Spanish. Spanish. Why? Jose, we share, we want, Jose, one share with us the. Yes, Jose. But, yes, but first, uh, Jacqueline. Yes, Jose. First, Jacqueline. Yeah, first, Jacqueline. Okay, my new is about Nahuizalco because they, uh, there we can find an, a typical a kind of pupusa. It's, there is no a traditional taste because they are made um, with sweet potatoes. potatoes. And this is a new, a new kind of pupusa that they are selling at the town. And you can go to the Nahuizalco's Park and ask for a pupusa made by the sweet potato. Wow. Sweet potato. A pupusa from sweet potato. Very yes, and it's the dog, I don't know if it's the right word to describe masa dog. Dog? Is, dog? dog is, is softer, is very soft. And it tastes good. I, it really tastes good. Okay. All right. What flavors oh, are with the pupusas with sweet potato? This is a new. Mm, it's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I let haven't it tasted no. that kind of food. Jackie, what kind of uh, what kind of pupusas are with the sweet potato? All, all, all the things that uh, beans, uh, pork, cheese, and all the tastes that, the they, they are they are like a regular pupusa, but the difference is the dog. The dog is made about made by sweet potato. It's not corn. It's sweet potato. Okay. All right. Good. Jose, tell us your story. Story. I don't know if you see the news. It's about the hurricane that passed from Virginia in the U.S. Um, I was reading about the. I'm uh, sorry, but I have the dog barking here. It's okay, Jose. It's okay. Know. Continue. Listen to me. And I saw the news that uh, around 46 person have died after a few waters. The, the main thing is that most of the people was died inside of the vehicle because they couldn't leave the vehicle. And I saw a few videos and it was a horrible hurricane. Okay, okay. I don't know if you see that news. No, no, I didn't. I didn't no, see the news. I didn't, I didn't see the news. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great evening and enjoy your weekend. Remember, complete lesson three, complete lesson three, and the ex complete the midterm. If you haven't completed already, then complete it for next week. Okay? Next week. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Today, um, today, have a class sorry i i i hear double double voice Go ahead. okay tomorrow tomorrow have a class no tomorrow no okay only last Thank week because we started class on tuesday but uh, but tomorrow no class ah okay okay thank you okay all right guys have a great night 
Enjoy your weekend and complete exam for unit three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Um, you too. <laughs>